energy. According to the National Institute of Health, more than half of all Americans have one or more allergies. <coughs> I actually have a an allergic reaction to grass. If I'm doing anything like sports, working, or anything involving me on top of grass, uh, my skin would start to irritate me. The next day I would wake up with rashes all over my face, and all over my face and arms. This can be fatal because it can get to my throat. If, uh, if it comes in contact with the rest uh, infection, it can swell up and make, me, make it hard for me to breathe. So uh, today I will be talking about allergies, what allergies are, skin allergies, and food allergies. <coughs> what are allergies? Having an allergy means being sensitive to certain substances that most people don't react to. Many things people breathe, eat, touch, or take into their body can cause an allergy. Hundreds of substances can make people with allergies feel uncomfortable or sick. These substances are called allergy triggers because they stimulate an allergic reaction. Allergy triggers vary from person to person. Many foods, plants, or, aner or animals are, are or contain allergens. An allergy can be chronic or long-lasting. An allergy may even last a lifetime. Some allergies disappear as children and teens grow older. Allergies can reappear later in life, and new allergies can even develop at any time. Skin allergies. Skin allergies react to an allergen that touches the skin. An itchy rash is most common reaction. <coughs> most allergies, skin allergies, are common and on the increase. The most common condition is from children younger than 11 years old. And that's actually what I had in college when my face was sensitive to <coughs> They occur when some people are given uh, an allergic reaction to certain substances within 12 and 48 hours after touching an allergen. These people can easily develop an itchy rash. It can appear on any part of the skin. It most often appears on the hands and face or any, any area where the skin is thin. According to Jimmy Monroe, he said, the best way to deal with the skin allergy is to avoid an allergen. If that's impossible, other steps can head off skin allergies. You can wash skin clothing and you can wash skin clothing. <coughs> wash skin clothing and items that come in contact with allergen. Use soap and warm water and rinse well. Poison ivy can stay on clothes for months. Unless washed away, it can cause a reaction m months later if touched. Food allergies. Food allergies are reactions that uh, your body has to has to change or change up. As sometimes the body's immune system treats certain foods as though they are harmful. The immune system tries to protect your body by making antibodies. These antibodies cause body cells to release chemicals such as histamine. These chemicals can cause many many symptoms, including swelling and tight muscles that can air your airway, airway and make it hard to breathe. The eight foods that are most common are cow's milk, eggs, peanuts, tree's nuts, fish, shellfish, wheat, and soy. The best way to avoid an allergic reaction by completely avoiding the food that causes it, which means you will need to change the way you order, shop, or prepare food. You want to read labels every time because the ingredients can change since the last time you bought the product. Watch out for the words that they may contain. Peanuts may not be an ingredient, but the food may be in a factory where the, they also produce nuts. And words on the package such as wheat-free don't mean that food is completely without wheat. It may contain, contain trace amounts. So in conclusion, I have just covered what allergies are, what skin allergies are, and what food allergies are. I hope everyone still gets this information well because you never know what someone's health might be an allergic reaction yourself.